the state of Florida where the boy in the box mom, Tracy Ferreter, appeared in court a short time ago, and the judge has set a trial date. State versus Ferreter status check. So what's, uh, Mr. Shiny, you're here in front of me again, so what's the status judge, of your uh, representation? And I, and I apologize if the court uh, thought I was playing games in, in, in January, uh, December 15th. I was, I was recently retained within 36 hours. I did not have discovery. I understand the posture of the court continued the case. And I didn't file a press because I wanted to be open with the court and tell you when I think I'm going to be ready. And if the court's okay with that, great. If not, that's also great. I'll back down. Um, after reviewing the discovery the last couple of weeks, uh, I think I can be ready in July. I know I can be ready in July. If that's acceptable, great. If not, that's also fine, Judge, either way. All right, um, state take any position. The state would object to July, Your Honor. I think that's excessive. This case was tried in October, uh, more than six months for a case where all depositions have been done and the case has been tried um, effectively the entirety of the case. We don't think, that, I think that's an excessive amount of time. Um, it would be almost a year, nine months for the victim um, since they had to testify before. And so we would object to that long of a continuance. I, I consider it excessive, but I'm not going to um, um, set it earlier than that because I don't want any due process issues or appellate issues going up on um, Mrs. Ferreter being pushed unnecessarily to trial prior to her new counsel being able to be ready. So I'm going to set it special set in uh, July. Give me a, a Friday for large panel jury selection in Friday on, in July. Um. July 12th, Your Honor. All right, July 12th be large panel jury selection, 100 jurors. Um, and then what's the dates of the trial that will run after that? July 15th through the 19th. I mean, how many days do they need for the trial? It's five days. Yeah, July. Um, it's well, five, it'll run from the Friday through the next Friday. Yeah. So a total of six. And, and including jury selection. Okay. Your Honor, maybe a little bit longer. Uh, I do plan on listing witnesses that were not listed in the previous. All right, so, uh, so just to reserve on my calendar for the uh, the following two weeks so that we've got enough time reserved for the case. All right. Okay, there it is, uh, set, um, and there she is with her new attorney leaving the courtroom. July 12th will be jury selection. So the same attorney that withdrew from the case last time he was in court decided after looking at the discovery he could do it by July, and you heard the state say now nah, well, that's too long but uh the judge at this point ah, had to let it go uh, because uh, this has gone back and forth too long and she's had trouble getting an attorney so there it is she of course is the mother um and dad was convicted for locking the adopted son in that box in their garage because of his behavior she faces charges of aggravated child abuse and false imprisonment in october uh, a jury found tim her husband guilty of those same charges he's serving a five-year sentence he had a an opportunity to take a one-year deal and said no to it um and uh, he was convicted now he's serving five well he won't serve the entire five but it's a much more significant sentence than the one year obviously would have been dina Dahl still with us in los angeles and um this one now you've got mom she didn't build the box she was there she's very aware that this was all happening is it going to be a repeat of uh the first trial with tim or are these nuanced differences and a little bit of clue i guess from the new defense attorney saying i'm gonna need a, some extra time because i'm planning on doing x y and z I don't think there's going to be a significant difference between the two because, like, as you said, they were both living in the same house. This was the same child exhibiting, you would think, the same type of behavior issues that they're alleging to both of them. So unless there's something kind of up her sleeve that we don't know about, like some coercion that she's going to claim from the husband's part to her, um, this is not going to be very different. And I did watch, you know, Tim's trial. I was shocked he didn't take that plea uh, plea deal because I thought the facts were just disgusting what they did to that child. I thought their excuse was his excuse was really bad that somehow the child was so dangerous they had to be locked in a box while in their home, but they freely let the child go to school. Uh, if this child was so dangerous, it was uh, at school with other students and adults and somehow it was only that dangerous at home like it just didn't make sense um so right. she's got a, a uphill battle for sure Is you, do you think there's a one-year deal on the table for her or did the state after the conviction uh, not may not be offering that i imagine they're not offering that anymore and whether or not she got the same deal or not you know before that i'm not sure but the fact that he did we know that and didn't take it 
I don't know what that was about, but you know what? Sometimes, you know what? I don't understand why somebody would even put their child in a box to begin with, right? So he's clearly not a logical thinking person. Uh, there's some maybe narcissism there and you think, hey, I can get out of this. Uh, maybe nobody else can, but I sure can. There had to have been some thinking like that to reject a deal with the yeah. facts as they were. Yeah, or the um, I'm not pleading guilty to anything, that mentality, uh, well, okay. Well, doing five years now.